So there have been a lot of questions come in about the Amscope microscope, especially the uh, Trinoc and uh, various mounting options. Let's look at the articulating arm. It's a little hard to explain just in some pictures. Let's take a look at what you get. There's a clamp down at the base, a pivot point, the first lower arm, the center riser, a vertically adjustable arm, another pivot point, and then out to end an, a short arm out to the head. Each of the uh, pivot points has a locking adjustment. The vertical adjustment is f made by uh, this little clamp here, and you don't have to turn it much to uh, adjust to, to loosen it or lock it. And it allows for 10 inch travel between the lower arm, top of the lower arm, and to the top of the upper arm is 10 inches up and 10 inches down. So overall 20 inches of vertical travel. And as far as uh, distance that you can swing this, it's about 39 inches from the center of this pivot point to the center of the lens on the microscope. So about one meter of overall travel uh, from the base out to the scope. The microscope can be mounted, the, sorry, the head and holder for the microscope can be mounted in a couple of ways on here. There's a set of holes. Look at, in, the, in this, you can see from this photo. And you can mount the microscope pin, either the, the head mounting pin, either horizontally as I have here, or vertically from the top or I suppose even the bottom. Now the nice thing is that these are uh, 16 millimeter holes, uh, 5 8 inch, and the handy thing about that is that's the same diameter as the mounting pin on a Panavise. So you can take the head off and use use this uh, for uh, your Panavise. So you can move your Panavise, set it to any angle, any height, works great. It works so great, I bought a second arm. And so now I can use the, uh, set the microscope at whatever height and position, and then I can set my uh, Panavise uh, clamp, which I have a couple different models of those, types of those, depending upon the circuit board or what I'm working on. And I just screw it into this, clamp it down, adjust it, works great. Now, I don't do most of that over here on the uh, workbench. Uh, I use... I do all of that over here on the soldering bench, but as you can see, the arms swing very nicely around, and so I can use it on either side. Now one thing to keep in mind, you also need a solid surface to mount this to. It has two bolts on the bottom to clamp down to the uh, surface, and here I'm using a one and a quarter inch uh, maple top, hard maple top that is mounted to a steel bench. It is also bolted to the concrete wall at the back. So this doesn't move at all. So any vibration in this bench doesn't get transmitted. Any work I'm doing here doesn't get transmitted out the arm of the microscope because this is a fairly long arm and vibrations here, that movement will get transmitted out to the uh, arm. So you really need a solid base. So that's my word of warning there. Here's a quick overhead shot of the arm moving around. As you can see, it moves quite smoothly with a pretty good range of motion. The, uh, as for clearance, uh, the, uh, this arm is about 15 inches from the screw head to the back of this uh, pivot point, and that works out, what is that, in, uh, the, to the rest of the world, uh, 380 millimeters or something like that. Uh, so you'll need a fair bit of room if you're mounting it right at table height. Now you also might mount this on the corner of the table and just not try to pivot it over your de over your work area. Pivot it around the work area instead. Uh, there are two uh, mounting points here. You can mount it, uh, clamp it like I have to a countertop. 
if you had some sort of a vertical post here, you could uh, maybe look at, or, or some sort of a post here, you rail, you could uh, clamp it to that and then use this hole here with the clamp kind of vertical riding on top of the rail. So that would be another good mounting option probably to use. Um, as far as other clearance, the main one is that you need about a two inch overhang from the front edge to any cabinet that you're, you're, you've got this countertop mounted on. So like I said, maybe a rail would work really well uh, to help with that. It's, let's see, that'd be about what, five centimeters in depth uh, for the five centimeters in depth here for the uh, for, for the countertop and then uh, f let's see that's about four inches so ten centimeters or so uh, in width here plus there's a little this uh, lockdown clamp is uh, bolt is about a couple inches long from or inch and a half at least from the edge here out to the end of the arm you should be able to mount a uh, mount this to about a two inch work surface up to about a two inch thick work surface. Uh, so again, f what, five centimeters for that? So uh, you can mount it to a really thick beam. Uh, so again, mount it uh, to uh, something made out of uh, two by four. So hopefully I have uh, answered all the questions. I like this mount a lot. It has worked very well. Like I said, I bought a second one. Uh, they're very stable. As long as you put them on a solid surface, they're very stable. They work well. I use. Uh, you'll need to grease these up once, but don't use an oil. Use a grease if the uh, grease is wiped off. There are a lot of options on that. I use a, uh, a medium weight synthetic grease that's used in a lot of uh, tooling and uh, firearms. So pick something that'll just stick. Should be no problem. And it, you can see mine glide uh, quite well, even with the uh, even with the heavy amp scope try knock mounted on it.